What is up guys, Forrest here, and today we're going to be discussing my very first Android application. One that's a little bit more than just a Hello World application, but less than anything that would be like appropriate to put on the App Store. But be forewarned, this is a continuation of my last video where I had so much video content that piled into one video that I separated it into last video and into this video where we discuss that of my first real Android application. So sit back, relax, and uh, watch Pass Force take it away. I'll see you guys at the end. All right, so now that I have everything open and running over here on the emulator, let's talk about the UI a little bit. So. I'm going to preface this by saying I am no Android professional. If you've, this is the first video you're watching, this is essentially my first Android application. So if anything's wrong, well, I'm sure my professor will tell me, but I am open to you letting me know what could be better, what is wrong in the comments. Just try to be nice about it. So over here, we have our boilerplate code. This is what was included upon creation of this uh, Android project. And then I added in the relative layout in order to get everything aligned properly that is my list view. You can see where that is using this box over here. The edit text, same goes for that, and then the button. So I used relative layout in order to use something like this where I have layout aligned parent top and layout aligned parent left. That aligns this that is boxed up into the top and into the left. Kind of self-explanatory, sure, but I feel like it's necessary to mention that. Also, from my understanding, it is important to include the top and the left as opposed to only the layout align parent start like I have down here because what I have highlighted, the start, is good and is modern convention. That is what you want to use on newer versions of Android, uh, Android devices. However, the top and the left, those are still implemented in order to allow your application to work on older versions of Android. And what the start does is essentially it starts the alignment of the list view to its parent, which is essentially the background of this whole application. That's why it is up at the start. And if you want to give an opposite example of that, I have layout align parent end for the add item that is highlighted. So it is at the end of that background part. And sure, I still have a layout align parent right and layout align parent bottom in order to align it down here on older Android devices. And a lot of this is standard, but also something I want to point out is down here I have Android on click on add item. And that is essentially when I click, well, let me come back here. When I click this button, add item, it will implement my function on add item where that's kind of self-explanatory. Let me come over here to the emulator and just type in, I could type in, use my keyboard or this keyboard. And then this is on add item uh, occurs when I click add item and it adds the item on to my list view. Self-explanatory again, but this is helping me remember everything. So I, I, I'm going to explain it. So now into the meat of the code. And now that I have my emulator running, because I had to update the emulator so it wasn't running earlier, I can actually show you guys what it, what's going on with the code. So I have my on create function, whereas this helps with my list view because I have read items in here and set up list view listener. So basically when I open up my application after closing it, it doesn't delete all of my data because everything gets written to a file and read to a file, which is the list view. So essentially the list view gets written to to do dot text and upon reopening the application, it essentially, like, basically it rewrites the list view to that application. I mean, that's like the best way for me to explain it. And then we've already discussed on add item. Let's go back up here. I have set up list view listener and also have this function running in on create because this, the on create needs to adjust whenever I use this function because let me show you what this function does. Basically, when I'm over here, let me drop the keyboard just because, and I long click on one of my items, it deletes. And that is how you delete one of the items. A long click, hold it down. A regular click does nothing, as you see, but a long click will delete whatever you know item I'm clicking on, obviously. And that is what this function does right here. So basically, what I have in my uh, main activity.java file is everything I needed for, you know, to get a good grade on my project for my Android development class. So I didn't need to make it pretty. Oh, another thing that I actually needed to do is the way this like generic title comes up top, I figured I could come into here, come into the design and do something like, you know, double click on this. Maybe there is an easier way to do it because this said 
to do as one word underscore list because that's how I saved it. But instead I had to come over here, I think to yeah, app res values and then strings and change it right here. So if I change this to, to do without the space and I come back over to my file right here, it closes that gap, but I want to open it back up just because that's how I had it. So a little, little, maybe it's just me, but it's a little interesting that something kind of like seems that it defaults onto my screen. I'm, I know I can change it, I can delete it, all that stuff using this file, but it's interesting to me how that's the way I need to change it. Although I have this storyboard like layout right here in front of me, I figured I could just double click on it and change what it says, which I guess I can't even do that. No, no, I can do that right here with, with the text view, or I could just, you know, add that in on, on here. And that's how I thought the generic title would kind of react upon double clicking, but that's not the case. And that was the application. See, nothing too special, but I'm happy with it. I'm very happy with it. It's something that I had only three hours to complete, as you may know from uh, last video. Luckily enough, as uh, computer science software developer type people, we know how to use whatever resources to our advantage, so I used the internet and all of that has to offer to my advantage to get this done because I was set at such a time constraint. If you really don't know what I'm talking about, go watch my last video. It was a struggle. It's called bad, a bad day as a computer science student for a reason. Oh yeah, and I'm also in the works of making another small internet application for the same class, which I'll be making a video about here in the next week or two. So if you like these types of videos and you wanna see what I have coming next, don't forget to subscribe. And if you did like this video, don't forget to, well, show it to me and like the video. Till next time guys, have a good one. Peace.